find the right neutrals to act as the anchor for my wardrobe. So the first thing we want to know here is are you warmer or cooler? So what's your undertone? Because different uh, palettes will have very different neutrals. So just as an example here, um, this is my spicy swatch and it's got a range of warmer neutrals um, like that. And then here is a dramatic swatch, which is cool, which has quite a different range of cooler neutrals. Um, and so to start with, because you'll find that your colors will work better with your neutrals. So you can see that these are very different from these. Um, even though they contain browns, these are very different browns from these browns. These are yellow browns, these are pink browns, these are cool, these are warm. And even the grays, you'll see that the grays are really quite different with the cool grays having more blue in them, the warmer grays having more green or yellow in them. So the first things to think about is what is your undertone? Uh, so... Are you warm or cool? The second thing we want to think about then is what is your value? So that is how light or dark your hair is. So your light, medium light, medium, medium dark or very dark as far as your hair color goes. So ideally what we want to do, particularly for the base of our outfits, is work with um, the, the value that relates back to our hair because that is really quite a dominating feature. It was funny, I was talking on the weekend to my daughter and, and I was mentioning this and I said, you know, she just met some new girls the other recently um, and, and, and I said, well, if you had to describe them to me, what's the first thing you'd say? And she said, ah, oh, I'd tell you their hair color. You know, uh, that, that's the first thing we remember about something and that really dominates. It's what we really notice. Eye color, we just don't notice as much unless they say particularly bright in color. Most of the time, we might not be able to really remember what somebody's eye color is, but we certainly tend to remember hair color. It's like light, dark, it strikes us. So this color or value, which value just means how light or dark a color is of our hair, is a really great way to... To, uh, to create a neutral base. So working out, well, what is a great neutral base? So ideally relate it back to your hair color. So if you have a dark hair color, you'll be looking at a dark neutral. If you have a light hair, like hair color, you'll be looking for a night, light neutral. And of course, if you have a medium, you'd go medium. So then either matching the hair color. So if you have gray hair, grays are great. If you have black hair, black is great if you have or very dark brown hair black can work as well if you've got a mid brown hair then a brown is going to work really well um, if you've got like a, a red hair a sort of cognac or some sort of uh, burnished sort of brass or something like that might be a really great color so there's all sorts of different options there for you you know if you've got a light uh, light kind of but golden blonde hair you might find the camels are your really great uh, neutrals. So thinking about relating it back to your hair color. So if you find a neutral in your hair color, it's really easy to wear and it works really well for you. The other option is to go with eye color. So if you have a say olivey green eye, then going for an olivey green um, neutral is a really good way. If you have blue eyes, then navy works really well. Uh, if you have grey eyes or that kind of a, you know, then maybe go for greys. If you have brown eyes, then dark browns can work really well as well. So they are just a few options. And then there are, we can look at kind of what is complementary to your hair colour and, and that can also relate. So for example, if you have kind of carroty red hair, then you might find some of the olive greens work really well because they brighten up your hair color. If you have brown hair, you might find some sort of navy can also work really well. Um, if you have a blonde hair, it might be an aubergine or something like that as well. But if you're blonde, we want to kind of stick with more of the same value. So remember, we still want to go with more of the same value because we tend to wear a lot more neutral than color all the time. So it is good for the base of your wardrobe to think about a neutral that relates to your value, as I mentioned earlier. So there are a few things to think about. And of course, if you have a color palette, then, you know, um, that'll work really well. And then if you have your signature colors, so that's something like I do when I'm doing a color analysis, I go through the colors and I'll find the colors that really pop on you, the ones that work really well. And these will be related to your hair, eye and skin colors. Um, and that will then give you probably your best neutrals will be part of that selection as well. 
Uh, so they are just a few ideas of how to select some neutrals to base your wardrobe around. And then of course the colors that go with those neutrals will work really well with you because they are related in their undertone as well. So thank you for your questions. Please keep sending them to me, Imogen at InsideOutStyleBlog.com. Do let me know what it is that you would love to know, and I will chat to you again soon. Bye for now.